Hi, I'm Gary here at Martin Lynch and Sons and today we're going to be looking at a solution to go portable. Now this is a, a very lightweight solution. It's a blue Etty. Um, this is uh, I think the smallest one out of the, the bunch and it is fairly cheap. This is an EB3A. It's priced at I think £369 exactly there you go just checked on the label um, but it's a 600 watt version there are other versions available they've got a whole range of these and they're incredibly good really useful thing i'll come back to that in just a second because that is our, i think this is a really useful solution for portable with something like a 705 or an 818 but we'll come back to that in just a second um they've asked me to show you this which is a power supply now sort of kind of in the same sort of vein this is very useful for things like an emergency sort of power cuts and that sort of thing. So this is a, let's just say you had like something like a, a node or something set up where it would be useful to, to have an emergency sort of backup. This is capable of connecting to a 12 volt battery source and keep that battery um, float charged. So it, in the time of emergency, this if the power cut off, then this will run quite happily. It would use the 12 volts to power the radio from from this so it switches over to the radio basically if there's an ac outage so obviously in in today's sort of climate where you know there, there may be troubles ahead who knows um but something like this could be very you know very useful i've yet to see some spec on the battery charging of this and i am speaking to the manufacturers at the time of doing this video really so i'm waiting for some emails to come back so really useful thing. Other than that, this is a standard power supply. So if you wanted just a small form factor power supply, this is a really nice little thing. Our engineers have tested it. It seems to be absolutely perfectly good. So happy days. It's a, these are on our website. I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere, somewhere around. Um, yeah, give them a look. So really, really useful thing. Um, and some details, I'll update the page as soon as I get those. Now this, as I said earlier, is an EB3A Blue Etty. Now, the really neat thing about this is it is really lightweight. It is capable of 600, uh, 600 watts output via the AC uh, port here. It has 268 watt hours of, of capacity. So that's about, give or take, 12 amp power. Now, I did try earlier on running something like an FT710 from the DC socket at about 10 amps. It did do it and it would have done it probably for about, I think it was about an hour's worth of TX and about sort of say six or seven hours worth of, of RX. But I did notice under sort of 10 watts, a little bit sort of too much power across this, this was buzzing. So it was just that little bit too close to the 10 amps a draw unfortunately so let's have a quick look at the um the display here so um you can see it gives the percentage and at the moment this is set at um well this is down to about um 91 i think i can see there and that will give us with the 705 that's 30 hours worth of receive in this present sort of setup so this has got the battery connected to this so there's a little bit of storage on that as well this is obviously this thing is just trickling trickle charging the battery um, but it will give us that 30 uh, 30 hours of receive now this is set at max 10 watts um, i've got it on fm at the moment and i've just got it on seven megs somewhere around and if i key that up there you'll notice this will give us about give or take it will give us somewhere between eight and 12 hours worth of tx um, which is absolutely fantastic, really useful little setup. So something like this, you know, and this is this is light enough to carry probably a mile or so, you know, maybe if you're, you know, if you're a lot fitter than I am, probably you could carry this a bit further in a sort of some sort of rucksack or something and take a little bit of kit with you. And you could probably set up for the day, if I'm honest. This this would absolutely run that for a whole day without any trouble. Um, the other neat thing about this also is on the top, you've got, um, a wireless charging port so you can put your phone on the top and it will charge. It is a little bit fussy with cases, um, I have noticed, um, but it will that will charge your phone quite happily. 
speaking of which along the front here we've actually got two dc outputs here so you can if you've got something like the standard 5.5 by one millimeter sort of dc plug you can plug them in there and you can actually then sort of run pretty much any device that you wanted from it um, providing it doesn't exceed the sort of 10 amps load on this um, the other thing it's got here is a connector here for something like um, if you've got like a wind generator or solar panels you can connect it here so you can actually charge this internally so if you were using this and charging it at the same time you could probably get another 20 percent worth of, of of power out of it with a good sort of solar setup charging it is fairly straightforward standard sort of kettle lead type affair and a nice rubber bung over the top you've got two switches on here which which will either um, enable the dc side and i think there's one there for for a torch um, and it's quite bright that but you can enable the ac and you can disable or enable the uh, dc and vice versa i think that's a, an, an emergency sort of like cutouts or switch now i'm also told that this will do something like a ups mode as well so if you want to use this with say um, if you've got if you've got sort of fluctuating sort of uh, power and you've got something like a I don't know a small computer attached to it or something if the power goes out then this will actually power the computer or device for a little while while you switch everything off properly and um, save in your data maybe I don't know you the sky's a limit with something like this now I'm sure I said I mentioned they do do a whole range of these um, and I mean we, they go from this tiny little one here this is, I think is the base model all the way up to some really spectacular sort of stackable um you know sort of battery solutions for for homes and like uh, portable sort of kit on wheels now we can obtain all of these things it's not a problem so if you need anything do give us a shout regards these um and i've just actually been told that there we do do some solar panel systems for this so there is like a blue etty um sort of solar panel sort of setup that we we can get also so if that's something you require do let us know the app's absolutely brilliant i quite like the app it will tell you with the solar just how much power is coming from the sort of solar it will tell you how much power is coming from say a dc supply or how much is going out of a dc sort of stuff it will tell you how much power is coming from the mains and, and how much, sort of, you know, charging watts wise. So it gives you that in watts. So if it was say a 20 watt recharge cycle, if it was getting 10 watts from solar and 10 watts from the mains, it displays all of that in the, um, in the app. It gives you um, the overall amount of energy remaining. So at the moment it's sitting at 90%. You can turn the unit on and off from this sort of side and it tells you where the power's going as well, which is really, really neat. You can turn the AC and DC off um, and, and on, depending on how much you know you want to um, do. So at the moment, I've just turned the DC on. Uh, I'm going to turn the AC off. There's no need to put that on. It will probably last a little longer. So now it's providing three watts into, into the DC circuit. So that's just charging the battery on the 705 at the moment. And again, if I were to press PTT, we can now see that it's now drawing 25 watts from the DC on, on, on the app itself. Again, you can actually, if you want to, you can turn the, I think you can turn the light on and off. I think you can anyway. Shall I turn the light on and off? And I go back to that thing. Can we turn him on? Yeah, you can set this for eco mode as well. So you can turn eco mode on and off. You can also set, I don't know what power lifting does. I think that's like a turbo mode. You can turn the LED light on, so we can, if we want to, we can make it go uh, high, if it'll go, there you go. Um, and um, we can turn that back off again, because I'm sure Henry's getting annoyed with me blinding his camera. Um, so yeah, and if you want to, you can make it flash and do all that sort of stuff. Um, but he also got some charging modes here as well, so it will set sort of turbo, silent, or just a standard sort of charging mode. It's on standard at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's a really useful little app. Um, there are a couple of other things on there, I'm sure, that I haven't mentioned. But, you know, it's a good little app. As I say, it works on iOS and Android, so really, really useful. Um, so I'm going to turn the DC off from here, and then I can turn the unit off. So we say power off the device, we say OK. 
powering off the device. So there you go, the Blue Etty. Thanks very much for watching and um, hopefully we'll see you in store uh, very, very soon. If you've got any questions about either the Blue Etty or this little power supply here, um, then do give us a call at the store on 0345 2300599. -0 Again, if you've got any, any questions, you can email sales at hamradio.co.uk or if you've got anything sort of technical sort of questions, then please email support at hamradio.co.uk and we'll try and answer the questions as best as possible. Um, I know the 705s are in short supply. Get your orders in. The 818s are also in uh, short supply. We do have, I think Martin's managed to get a few more. Please do give us a call if you want anything like that. So um, they are getting harder and harder to get. So see you soon. Thanks for, thanks for watching.